is Kate again and today I'm going to be walking you guys through a fun experiment um, that has to do with density. So let's get started. So for this experiment what we are doing is we are going to be making a rainbow in a jar. So I have a jar here that I already made and I up to the light so you can see all the different colors in it and that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started and let's talk about what is density. Now density in scientific terms is how much space an object takes up in correlation to how much matter is in the object. So what that means is it is how the molecules are packed together. So now molecules are groups of atoms together. Now atoms are the smallest form of life. Everything makes up atoms. Um, so we're made of atoms, this table's made of atoms, the house is made of atoms, everything can be broken down um, into atoms. And what molecules are is when those atoms are grouped together. And what it means to be dense is that those molecules are, those atoms are forming molecules that are tightly packed together. And that's what makes something dense. Um, so when those atoms are loosely packed together, then it is less dense. So what we're going to be doing today in our rainbow in a jar experiment is we are going to be testing the density of some household liquids that you guys might have at home. So I have five different liquids here. I have water, rubbing alcohol, dish soap, corn syrup, and vegetable oil. And what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to make a hypothesis. And a hypothesis, remember, is an educated guess. So I want you to just go ahead, either write it down or keep it in your brain, of try to rank those five different liquids. Again, they are water, rubbing alcohol, dish soap, corn syrup, and vegetable oil. And I want you to try to rank them from what you think is the most dense to what you think is the least dense. In this experiment, we are gonna test it out and it will tell you the answer. Okay, so to start our experiment, I have here a new jar with a lid that we are going to put our rainbow inside. So what we have to do is we have to put our bottom layer on and that is gonna be our most dense. Now, out of all of those, try to think of the most dense is going to be the thickest. So obviously our most dense is probably gonna be our corn syrup. And that is because it is kind of like it is a, like, a, like a maple syrup. Like think about what you use on your pancakes. Um, it's light corn syrup I'm using here for this experiment. But what you're gonna do is you're going to pour a one fourth cup into your jar, just like that. And we want it to be a rainbow, so we are going to make it purple. I have here my primary color food dye. And to make our purple, we are going to mix a little bit of our red and our blue. So we have our first layer down, and that is our purple. And that is going to be our most dense liquid, our corn syrup. So moving on, we have to have our next, which is going to be our blue layer. And think about what do you think is the next sense. So we still have vegetable oil, dish soap, rubbing alcohol, and water. So again, think about the kind of consistency of your substances. Um, so our most dense was our corn syrup, right? And that was our thickest and it moved really slow. So maybe think about what other object might be moving really slow. And that is going to be our dish soap, right? And our dish soap I already have here is blue. So we're going to add that in and just add about a fourth of a cup. You can see it right here. We have our purple and now we have our blue. Alrighty, so we have our purple and we have our blue. So now we need our green. So of the three liquids we have left is rubbing alcohol, water, and oil. So what did you think is going to be the third most dense? And the answer to that is it is going to be your water. Yeah. So this one's the, those three are kind of hard because they're all kind of the same consistency, but it is actually water that we are going to use. So I have some water here, and we need to turn our water green in our rainbow. So I pour some into a cup. I'm going to do a little less. I'm trying to do about a fourth of a cup. And we want to make it green, so we are going to add in some blue. 
and some yellow. And this experiment also tests your color mixing here. Um, so go ahead and pour that into your jar. And you might see that your water and dish soap might try to combine a little and form some bubbles on top, but it should mostly stay separated. So now we have our purple, our blue, and our green. Alrighty, so we only have two liquids left to see who is going to be the least dense out of our liquids that we have. Um, so is it going to be our oil or is it going to be our rubbing alcohol? It is going to be our oil. Yeah, so I have our oil here and our oil is already yellow. So I'm just going to add it on top of the green mixture here. And that oil sometimes likes to go to the bottom, but then it will definitely separate on top of the water. And oil, we often see um, being used as kind of like an experiment for density because um, you think about stuff like salad dressing or anytime you mix like oil or water or oil and vinegar, you'll see the two separate a lot of the time. So now you can see we have our yellow layer, our green layer, our blue layer, and our purple layer. And so all we have left is our red layer and that is going to be our least dense of all the liquids we had here and that is our rubbing alcohol. So I'll go ahead and add in our rubbing alcohol and complete our rainbow. And we're going to turn it red first. We will add in our top layer here. Give it a second to kind of separate out. Alrighty, so I just added our lid on top of our jar and there we have it. We have our rainbow in our jar we just made. So from those five liquids, from our corn syrup, our dish soap, our water, our oil, and our rubbing alcohol, we have them all layered here and it shows the different densities so now you know what all the different densities of those liquids are and how you can test to see what is the least and most dense. Another fun experiment that you can do after you make your jar is you can go ahead and mix it up, either give a swirl with its tight lid on, or you can take a spoon and mix it around, um, but you'll see that they will start to uh, turn into one, but slowly will separate out again, like you can see all the different bubbles rising back to the top of the surface, and your purple has already settled back down to the bottom again. And if you give it time, it will slowly turn back into a rainbow again. Um, and again, that is because of the different densities in the liquids and that they are able to float on top of each other and make this really cool experiment. So I hope you try this at home and have fun with it. And I hope you learned a little bit more about density. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.